Now, before we start, what I've done is just write out this geometric series that we're told. We're told that the second and third terms of this geometric series are 192 and 144. And for this series, we've got to find the common ratio. Now, we should know that the first term is always given as A. So I'm just going to put that as A. And then we add the second term. And the second term, if you're multiplying by a common ratio, would normally be AR. And the third term would be to multiply this by another R. And that would give us ARR or AR squared. In general, the nth term is always AR to the power n minus 1, a formula you should really know. So how do we work out what the common ratio is? And also the first term, which is the next part of the question. In fact, I'll do both of these together in this particular video. Well, let's just say that the second term, AR squared, is equal to 144. So we've got AR squared equals 144. And for the first, well not the first term, sorry, 192 is the second term, which is AR. So we've got AR equals 192. So we've got two equations here, which we need to solve simultaneously. So if we call them 1 and 2, what we can do is do equation 1 divided by equation 2. 1 divided by equation 2. This is generally the preferred method of solving equations like this. So what we end up with is AR squared divided by AR equals 144 divided by 192. And the reason we do this is because those A's here will cancel. Okay, A into A goes 1, A into A goes 1. And when it comes to r squared divided by r, well, we can divide top and bottom here by r, and that just leaves us with r, r equaling 144 over 192. And we can cancel that down. It turns out that r equals 3 quarters. And if we've got r equals 3 quarters, we can go on then for the second part of the question, part b, just to find out what the first term is, the first term being a. All we need to do is say substitute it into one of these two equations. And if we did that, let's say we substitute, substitute r equals 3 quarters into equation, say, 2. And if we do that, we've got a times r, so that's going to be 3 quarters of a equals 192. And if we just multiply both sides by 4 and divide by 3, you end up with a equaling 4 times 192 divided by 3, and that works out to be 256. So therefore, a equals 256. So, hope that's given you some idea then how we go about a question like this. All right.